lovelies, today I am going to be finally doing a full, full tutorial. Well, <laughs> um, it'll be okay. Um, so I have done like a lot of cuts typically when I do a tutorial, but somebody was like, I want a full fledged, full tutorial. And I was like, I don't know how to edit this. I don't know how all the filming's gonna go. Well, <laughs> we'll have to, we'll have to see. The video that I am going to be doing today is, um, Xiao Hongshu inspired smoky eye makeup. I know, I'm really excited too. This video over on my Instagram, over Reels, it has over 500,000 views and almost wow. like 60,000 likes or something. A lot of people really like this look. There's a lot of comments on there like, full tutorial, full tutorial. I need to see this full fledged. And I'm like, okay, it's just going to be a long video. I don't know why, but in my brain, I like to keep videos like under 10 minutes. But like, from start to finish, I guess if somebody wants to see me do this full process, I, I guess we'll try it. We'll try it. I'm not, it'll be okay. I have all my makeup laid down to the side of me. I don't know, I don't know. This intro might be a little long. These are the inspo photos that I use for this makeup look. Very pretty, very gorgeous. They make me smile, they make me happy. So this is the look that I got from my recreation. Um, I think it looks great, it looks really pretty. I'm really excited to show you guys how I did it. Um, I just wish there were like tutorials that I could follow because I'm literally looking at photos like okay maybe it's this okay maybe it's this and sometimes work out sometimes I erase it and start over but I'm really excited to show you how I got that look so without further ado let's get started before anybody comments on the back of my mirror is smashed I don't know how that happened but here we are I'm going to first go in with a primer by NYX it is the honey do me up primer I've had people tell me not to like apply it with a little like spatula thing, but like how else am I gonna get it out of here? I'm just gonna use my fingers and sometimes I pat it in and sometimes I rub it in. It just depends on my mood, I guess. Get that in my skin. I like to concentrate on my cheeks and my nose. Cause I feel like that's where I have a lot of like dryness and problems. And it's very like hydrating and dewy. You have a little glow to your face. And then I'm going to use the NYX Bear With Me spray. I'm going to take as much hydration as I can get because I'm really dry. Hear the wolf in the background? He's my husky. If you hear howling throughout this process, I have a husky. Her name's Stella. She's really cute. Here's a photo of her. And then I take and I make like a foundation mix. I go in with three parts. First going in with the L'Oreal Lumic Lotion. Get a little bit up on the back of my hand. And then this is by a brand called Hamish or Hamish. It's the BB Moringa Ceramide Tinted Moisturizer. Um, it's deep. This is not my skin color. But it helps cool down the main foundation that I use. So that's in this little mix. Very dark. No my skin color. And then um, I go in the with the L'Oreal True Match in Warm 7, medium deep. I don't know why. I should not be going warm. I'm very much neutral. But this is the closest to my actual skin color. It's just very, like, orange. So I'm going to take a couple pumps of that. Um, and then what I've been using to mix my foundation, I love a spatula, but this one is by Mies. They sent me this one. I love it. And I'm just going to mix this all up. Something not the same color as my skin, but pretty similar. I think it's okay. I think this is mixed pretty well. It's it's an okay color match for what I'm going for. Whenever I used to match my like neck and chest, people would say that I'm trying to like make my skin too light. And now that I'm like using a darker color, they're like, that doesn't match. I'm like, okay, nothing I can do about it. Moving on. Just swipe that on. Tend to use both sides. I do the one bottom half of my face before I do the other. Pretty okay. And I go in with a powder puff. I did link the specific powder puff that I use. It's on my Amazon storefront, but it's also just on my link tree. Um, 
It's the same as this one. The one that I linked is just the black one. I blend that all in. It's pretty quick when you're using this. And it looks very like skin-like. It's definitely darker than my skin color. But that's okay. That's what concealer's for. We're gonna line it up. Okay, that's one side done. Go back in. I don't know how you're supposed to do it, but I like scrape and slide so I can get someone there. A little on my nose. I've never been able to find a good color match, so if somebody can color match me, I would very much appreciate it. Mm, blend that in. It sounds like I'm being really rough. I am. I love the lie to you. No, I am. I feel like the rougher you are with your face, I would not advise on doing that, but I feel like the rougher you are with the face, the better that it's all blended in. That may or may not be true, but it's what I do. I also like hold my breath when I apply makeup, so if you ever hear me like, like sounding like I can't breathe, that's because I'm holding my breath for some reason. I don't know why I do that, but here we are. Forehead. I have a burn scar from curling my hair a bit ago. Oh, I love that foundation in the hair. But um, it's okay. It was really bad when I first did it and it's healing okay. And then we're gonna blend this out just like everywhere else. I tend to apply like this in sections because I don't want the foundation to dry out as I'm applying it to another section. And it all seems to work out well for me when I'm doing it like this. So the next part is my concealing process. I use two concealers. Both of them are by Too Faced. The Born This Way Concealer. I'm going to first take Honey and I use that as like the pre-concealer, I guess. Well. I use that just to like conceal. I think that's the best way to say that. I go over my little scar and then this acne mark in my middle of my forehead and then my bags. Just like that. Get all that. And then I'm gonna blend that out with that same powder puff. Start on my forehead. And then under my eyes. Okay, another eye. My forehead. This is the highlighting portion of the concealing process. And this is warm sand. I just place this everywhere that you would normally highlight. The other place I don't, I know some people like to like cut their cheek, like their cheeks. But I just use contour for that. And just like before, I start with my forehead and I wake my way down. To some people, this might be too much concealer, but... I like the way that it looks on my face. I've just had requests for my base routine. And this is, I guess, the closest I'll go to like fully filming out the base routine. And last but not least, my nose. I'm priming my lids with the P. Louise Base Pro in Rumor 2.5. It's very light, but it gives me the necessary payoff that I need to make the colors stand out. I am using dark colors today, but still, I like the way it looks. And I do this before I contour because I contour my nose and I don't want any of the base pro to get on like to bleed into the contour because I'm gonna have to recontour and I really don't want to do that. I think I'm gonna use a brush today because I want a lot of that color to retain. I feel like sometimes if I don't want it, if I don't want the color to be that strong, 
I use a powder puff to like also absorb some of the liquids. And now that I did that, I don't like it, so I'm gonna take my powder puff and go over top of it. Yeah, yeah, this is much better. Next, Sweet Cheeks, and I think it's Bombshell. It's very much like a darker blush color. I don't know why, but it just works with my skin tone really well. And I'm gonna put a little over my nose, under a little on my chin, and a tiny, tiny bit of my forehead. But it's so much more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be, so I'll put some of that on every, a little bit of everywhere else. This time I'm gonna start with my nose because I don't want to take anything that I blended out anywhere else and put more on my nose. I want the blush on my nose to be very subtle. So I do that. That's why I always do the concealer on my forehead first. I didn't explain that well. But it just makes it a lot subtler when I start with my forehead so it's not like shiny. And then I go into my forehead. Somebody had asked me why I put blush on my forehead. I genuinely just like the way that it looks, so that's why I do it. It makes me look really, like, glowy and, like, flushed. And it's really adorable, so I really like it. And then my cheeks. I like to just go in, like, a circular motion. And I do it up pretty high. Especially in comparison to where I applied it. Because I drag it up. This is like the lowest that I want it to be. So I drag it up. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the Revolution Bright Lights in Bean Pink. I really like this product. My only issue is that like after you apply it, you got to blend it in immediately. Or it's not getting blended. My upper lip. Chin. I'm only going to put a little bit on the sides of my face. Just like there, yeah. Make sure I blend that. And again, I don't know why, but if I ever try to like apply it everywhere and then blend it afterwards, it's not good. So, apply, blend. Apply, blend. So then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Mahogany. I'm going to blend Now I'm going to do like For me, it's like contouring But I have a very massive head So A lot of the Xiaohongshi Xiaohongshi makeup A lot of the women who do it The ones like the inspo photos Are very petite So I am not petite. I'm 5'7". I'm like 195 pounds. So I'm nobody's definition of petite. So we gotta use some bronzer to get a little petite. I don't know. So around the perimeter of my face, my jawline. So snatch it up. The style is you like blend it into your eyebrows, your nose. I don't know why. That's the style. And I make the tip of my nose like go inward, like concave. I think that's what that word means. So blend it out into this. And then you want to also like outline the socket of your eye. So you're going to go around the side of your nose and do it like that. I don't know why, but it just looks so adorable. And then I just go over that blush that I put down. Just to make my nose look tilted upward more. Like, like it picks out. And I was like, oh, you have a picky nose. I'm like, pigs are so cute. Thank you. So I start the end of my new little, like, button nose. I go up and I go boop. That's the new inside of my brow. I don't know why my brow hairs stop so much sooner but I'm not the CEO of knowing everything so it's okay and I'm gonna make my brows pretty straight I do when I do my at home brow trims I do make them straighter than they used to be they used to be very arched and I don't know why but I prefer the straight brow look 
Just gonna feather in the front, blend that. Then I'm gonna go in with the Lift and Snatch by NYX. Both of these products that I use are in the shade Espresso. Cause I tend to wear like black wigs. And I concentrate this really just on the outer corner, just making it look a little more hair-like. Then I'm going to take some of the Clinique Stay Matte Press Powder and I'm going to just wipe that all over my face. Just to add a little bit of color back in after I powdered my face. I'm going to take some of Estee Lauder's Pure Color Envy in Pink Kiss. Put that on my cheeks and then a little on my nose. And essentially just everywhere that I had put the cream blush. I'm just going to go over that with Pink Kiss as the first blush. And then I'm going into the Morphe Blush Trio. Love that. Oh, Jesus. Pop of Rose. And we're going to put that over top. I like dimension when it comes to blush. And just, again, put it over top of everywhere else. But on my cheeks, I'm concentrating it to the outer part of my face. Adding it as if it's just more contour. And on my chin. For my highlighter, I'm going to go in with Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in Euphoric Strobe Light. Get that on highlighter brush and I'm going to just concentrate it in the outer parts of my eyes. Just, again, everywhere that I put that cream, I'm going over it with powder. And I'm taking it very delicately, like a light hand. I don't want it to be too overpowering. And this is just a base, I promise. There's going to be so many sparkles. And do a little bit on my forehead to add some light to, like, the... You want to add light to your T-zone. So I'm going to add a little bit there. As I said, it's just the base. That's because I'm going in with the liquid glitter. A little bit. Mainly on the area my cupid's bow. I'm going to draw very faint lines. And blend those out. Make sure your cupid bow look deeper and a little glitter line along my upper lip a very little on my chin and then on my nose this is just going to stay along the center of my face I love the way glitter looks on skin we need more of that please and thank you I'm not going to put any on the outside of my face because I want to keep the glitter going down the center. Because I love a mole. I have them naturally. But the makeup covers them up. I'm going to add a couple back in. And I am using the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Liner in Brown. Any of my moles that I see just peeking through my makeup, I'm going to go over top of them. I don't know why people tend to like hate moles, but sometimes I go over like acne. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna put a fake one under my eye. Now the hardest part is the eyes. I could do this base like in my sleep, and I could go outside like this, put on some lashes, and go outside. But you're here for a smoky eye, and I have to deliver that, I guess. Okay, so the palette that I'm going to be using for the darker color is the Morphe Everyday Chic, the 35C Artistry Palette. So I'm going to use this, these two colors to make the like darker shade, and a little bit of maybe like this one. If you're like, why are there colors missing? I, I have no idea. I live a very hard life. I'm going to concentrate this on the outer part of the eye. I'm literally just like lightly putting it on the, out, the outer third of my eye. Because you're going to blend it. You're going to blend the crap out of it. And you want to bring it down a little bit. And I'm no expert at any of this. This is just what it looks like they're doing from my point of view. Again, there's no tutorials. There's just me looking at a photo being like, okay, let's try it. I'm going to go and blend that out and smoke it out with this like thick fluffy brush. And I want it to kind of be like snatched a little bit. I want it to be pretty like sultry and dramatic. And if I think I'm running out of 
product. I'm going to take that other brush that I use. I don't ever want to put more like product on this brush because then it's going to make it almost like impossible to blend. But I'm just going to add more product and then use this one to blend it out. So then you get the added color payoff but you don't like mess up this brush because then it becomes too dark while you're trying to blend it and it's just bad. Again, this blend does not have to be like too perfect. I do want it pretty smoky in the inner part. But I do want to keep it like pretty like hazy. For this part, if I'm smart, I've zoomed in a little bit. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. Sometimes we're not smart. And that's, that's something we have to live with. The hardest part of this whole tutorial is like the blending. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that P. Louise Base Pro to cut my crease. And I want the line to only be like a little bit above my actual crease line. I'm looking at my photo for reference. The inside is a little thicker. Okay. Down a little. I don't know why, but I always add some to the side of my nose. Since that goes down pretty far, you would be correct. So I'm going to take the tip of this, I'm going to blend out just the top. And it'll be okay, I promise. And I'm going to go in with this P. Louise palette. It's Wedding Wish, and I'm going to take Endless Love, and that's going to be my, the shade that goes on my lid. And it's okay if you go too far over, you're going to add a little bit more color there. So just put this all over my lid. I'm going to go back in with the mix of those three original colors and I'm just going to blend this in a little bit. The hardest part of this makeup look is all of the blending you have to do. So this is what you want to go for. I'm going to do that on the other eye real quick. For the fun part, the egg yolk cell. Hmm. Elusive. I have one naturally, I've been told, but this is how I personally do it. I take whatever color I want as like the darker shade. I'm going to put this all over the bottom fat. Then I'm going to go over top of this shape with Endless Love again just to create the like light effect. And to highlight the egg yolk style. We go pretty far into the inner corner. And I take it down pretty low because I want it, I want the area to be really highlighted. This one I'm going to leave like open. There's something you do that's pretty close, but this one I'm leaving open. And then just to brighten the center of my eye, I'm going over that with Hitched from that same Wedding Wish palette. Just in the center. One thing that is a pretty big staple for this makeup style is recreating your lash line. I don't know why, but it's something that happens a lot. So I stay pretty close to the lash line when I'm right under my eye. And then as I leave the eye, I go down and outward and I keep that line straight and I take it in a little bit closer to the lash line it does make your eye appear larger I like the way it looks I will say though with this makeup look typically I have really watery eyes we're holding up we're holding up and I'm I'm very proud very proud of myself for not becoming a watery mess. <laughs> the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Frosting. I'm going to add that on my lower lash line in the outer part. And above the black liner. I'm going to very quickly tight line. And this is just the NYX. This eyeliner is so good. I've never actually read this. The name had to be this long. That's funny. In the shade of Jet Black. And I'm going to tight line. I'm going to take the Lifted Snatch in Black. And I'm going to use that to create like the inner eye points. The cat eye effect. Precision is paramount. I do a little wing on the outside. And I'm just going to outline the top of my cut crease. I think this will be fine. This one is by All My Things and it's some sweet. 
And then I'm going to take that on my lower lash line as well. I'm going to go in with some love, which is also by All My Things. And I'm going to just take that to the outer part. I'm going to go in and curl my eyelashes. I use the one from Shiseido. This gives me a really nice... And then also by Kimish. It's a Korean brand. This It's the same brand as the CC cream that I used earlier. It's the Daily Ajum Smudge Stop Mascara. And we're just going to put some on the top and bottom lashes. I really like the way this applies to my bottom lashes. The next step is my favorite step, lashes. So I use the Losha Lash set um there if you just look up like manhua Zhongshu lashes manga lashes they will be one of the first things that pop up in my link tree i do have these linked specifically because i love these and i want to share them with the world please go ahead and look that out i will say i am an amazon affiliate some of the links that you click are going to earn me commission because i am affiliate also with like the lenses in my bio just a disclaimer um, but I have all of the great products, so go ahead and check out my Amazon um, storefront because a lot of the makeup products I use are on there. So typically what I do is I take them both off and the like and set them like this one's the left one, this one's the right one. Uh, they're so difficult to remove. I need to order more. They're pretty affordable too, so I like them. They're pretty and they're affordable. And before I put them on, I roll them. Because I want it to like perfectly just go into my eye. It's Duo's Lash Glue. The clear one. It starts white and it dries clear. I'm just going to put some on both of the lashes and let them dry for a couple seconds. Remember to cap your glue because glue can dry out so easily. Just like being exposed to the freaking elements. I can't even. I'm gonna shake it like a polar war picture for a couple seconds. Okay. Other side. I'm gonna go in with the NYX lip liner in Mahogany. And I'm going to overline my lower lip just a little bit. When I received this request, they had asked for like a brownie red lip. And so I was like, sure. I normally do glossy lips, but it can't hurt you to branch out. I always blend in as I go. And I'm just going to extend my corners a little bit. But all in all, I want my upper lip to be pretty full. I'm going to take two Fenty, what are these called? the Stunna Lip Paint. These are pretty old, but they still work, so you can't stop me. I'm going to take the red one that is uncensored. Yeah, uncensored and go around the outer of my lips. You don't need much. And I'm just going to use my finger to like blend that out. Also take just a little bit of, which one is this, and veil, the brown, like the first brown, and I'm going to keep that to the center. Like I did in the original, I'm just going to go over top of my lips with a little bit of glitter. I think this is going to be the final look. I'll be right back. So this is going to be the final look. This is, I think, the best of my abilities to do that recreation, but those are all of the steps that I followed in the original mini tutorial, so this is what you get. Um, let me know if there are any other videos on my page that you would like me to recreate. It's so much easier just to like film the shorter tutorial and then if you guys show interest, I'll film the longer tutorial. Uh, but yeah, let me know. You can send me Instagram. <laughs> You can DM me looks that you want me to do. I just need photo the photo inspiration for the style of look that you want. Um, like when I did this look, the person who DM'd me sent me 
um, all of this and then like ask for the lip request um, so yeah just that format is perfectly fine and I love doing your creations let's so teaching you I love I love doing your creations I love teaching you guys all how to do this very beautiful makeup style for all features so without further ado if you guys like the content that you see go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, I do post pretty regularly like almost every day over on Instagram so if you want to be like one of the first people to see my makeup looks and join one of my biggest platforms I think I just hit like 66,000 or something over on my Instagram so I would head over there if you want to see the looks uh, send me requests and yes go ahead and subscribe to this channel so I will be making longer tutorials based off of the most popular looks over on my Instagram and yeah I'm really excited to continue on this makeup journey I just hit 2,000 subscribers on this page I'm really happy and I'm thankful for all of you um, I think I hit yeah 2,000 on this 40,000 on TikTok and then 66 on Instagram. I'm so happy. I never thought I would be like doing makeup for people that actually want to see it. So I'm really happy that you guys really enjoy the content that I'm putting out. And I can't wait to make more for you guys. Bye!